Before using a NICE bus implement with Task Controller, there's a couple of other things we need to know about. In the Run Screen Layout section of the display, on some machines we're allowed to set up a small 1x4 map in the left-hand area so we can see it regardless of which run screen we're in. Otherwise, we can set up a 1x4 or larger map in one of the other run screens. We can also add a 2x1 TC section status bar. This will show us our current boom section status from within a run screen when we aren't looking at the implement in the virtual terminal screen. When you're setting up the run screen layouts, it's also a good idea to add a boundary and overlap control soft key to your run screens. This will allow you to quickly switch boundary control if, if you wanted to apply product outside of field set boundary, or you may also need to disable overlap control to respray a heavy patch of weeds, maybe even an area where you ran out of product, but it's still mapped on the screen and won't allow you to reapply otherwise. If you're using prescriptions after running the Task Controller Daily Setup Wizard with your machine sitting in the correct field, you should be able to see your field in the map screen. You'll see lines where the rate zone changes are. If you want to see what the rates will be throughout the field, you can change these lines to coloured zones. Press the Layer Soft key at the top of the screen. Select RX Style and change it to colour. Then press OK. You'll now see each zone in a different colour. If it's all showing as the same colour, then you may have to adjust the legend. Press on the legend soft key at the top of the screen. You can adjust these ranges to suit your RX map. You can do this for each separate channel simply by tapping anywhere on the map screen to select the next map channel. During operation, most people will leave the RX style set to outline. This shows them a simple line where the rate will change, but will show the machine's actual applied rate in the colours we just saw in the legend. This feature is particularly handy for those who want to keep an eye on their machine's actual rate without having to monitor the implement's VT screen all day. This will work the same for implements not running prescription application as well. In the display's implement setup page, the implement geometry will not be able to be edited since this information is automatically populated from the implement itself. However, we still need to make sure that it is set to the correct implement type, either three-point hitch or towed implement. This will make sure the coverage is recorded correctly behind the tractor, with either a pivot at the drawbar pin or fixed linkage arms. If record keeping is important, then you can also edit the default name that was given to the implement. This would be more important when there are multiple machines on the farm and a particular operation may need to be tracked back to a single unit. This could be for poor germination or weed kill issues. With the new auto task mode feature in version 31.31, all you will have to do to begin operation is turn your implement's master switch on. When operating in the field area, you should see the work control arrow turn green and point down. Coverage will also begin appearing on the map screen and the writing to card status icon will change, indicating it is now recording field data that is being created. On machines using prescription application maps, you should see the implement's target rates change when moving into different application zones. On machines running section control, the individual sections or full width should turn off when entering a headland, crossing a boundary, or running across an area that has already been applied. When doing this, the work control will arrow will change along with any coverage mapping. 